Oh, welcome to the video. And in this video, I will, at least for some years now, I will complete the syllabus series of CIC. And I'll be covering semester 4, 5 and 6 here. The final syllabus has been approved and uploaded on the official Delhi University website as well as it has been added to Ordinance 5 of Delhi University as an amendment which means this particular syllabus for UGCF 2022 is official right unlike the previous videos I will keep this video very short and I will not go in detail if you want to read the syllabi in detail you can just click on the description below where I will post a link to the PDF you can download it and read it for yourself and those of you who gave CUVT yesterday and today, do comment down below and tell me how it went, how much you are expecting. And those who are coming to CIC this time, well, you get a glimpse of what you are going to study ahead. So in semester 4, we have, now again, if you are not aware, I will also suggest you watch the previous syllabus videos which I've uploaded. DSC means a discipline specific core course which is a compulsory course which, which you have to study and DSC 10, DSC 11, DSC 12 three compulsory courses for semester 4 you have applied probability and statistics you have analysis and design of algorithms the name is kind of reversed than what you usually see elsewhere and we also have database management systems and if you see on the left like you see 4.1 4.2 4.3 it means these are the courses like semester 4 course 1 semester 4 course 2 semester 4 course 3 now GE refers to a generic elective DSC refers to a discipline specific elective now see this GE has only one code name given to it 4.4 and DSC also has one code name given to it 4.4 what does that mean it means among the GEs and the DSCs which are being offered you can choose one course that's why it's just called 4.4 right now the DSC courses of semester 4 they all have a 3 plus 1 credit structure where we have one practical element for all of them in GE if you go for strategies and concept for innovation management which is a which falls under the management minor it is a three plus one theoretical course three element lecture one element tutorial if you go for the other three which are electronics at work and circuit simulations which falls under electronics as the minor if you go for computational biology as the minor you have two options under generic electives which are in silico biology or the living world systems approach earlier it was named uh, explorations in living systems but they reverted to the name which was followed back during CBCS LOCF these three courses have a 2 plus 2 lecture plus practical element credit structure okay and instead of that in semester 4 specifically you can choose instead of a generic elective a discipline specific elective you have five options here and all the discipline specific elective courses as you can see they have a zero plus zero plus four credit structure all four are practical elements so there will be no theory element here only practicals options which you have are mathematical modeling and simulation you have computational fluid dynamics you have technological technology based solutions of societal issues you have medical imaging techniques and you have virtual reality and these dscs can also be opted in the sixth semester so if you want to go for a ge instead of these you will have these options also in the sixth semester and for aec and vsc you have to choose a pool from the university pool which is given i have covered that in one of the previous videos you can check them out and after that, under 4.7, either you choose an SEC course 
or you choose to do an internship or you choose to do a semester long project under one of the teachers where the theme would be problems drawn from industry society and villages for semester 4 it's called iapc which stands for internship apprenticeship project certification now what is a certification if you get a certification done from an iit or from nptel or from coursera which offers you some credit points against it you can get that converted and added here that's what it is going to semester 5 here under compulsory core courses you will have linear programming and game theory you have data communication and networking you have software engineering now here as as you can see ge is given as 5.4 while dse is given as 5.5 which means you have to choose one ge you have to choose one dse it's not that you choose either of these categories right so talking about the ge's all of them have a 2 plus 2 uh, lecture plus practical element so from management we have consumer behavior and marketing research from electronics we have circuit analysis and synthesis and in biology we have genes to genomes you can choose any one of them and under dses we have health data analysis we have game development using unity we have 3d printing using blender we have applications of data science a case study approach we have urban computing we can also call it computational social systems i think so i think both are the same thing we have it project leadership we have fabrication of nanomaterials for devices we have internet of things security and machine learning and we have integral transforms and applications so as you can see we have all types of things we have things from data science from machine learning from 3d printing computational biology we have internet of things we also have a core mathematics dse as you can see so if you are interested in that kind of a thing you can go for the mathematics one right and then you either do an scc course or you go for an academic internship as i mentioned here or you do a semester long project you can choose any one based on your availability and based on your convenience and things like that okay and also one thing as you can see here like the dsc papers which are given here they are also being offered in semester 3 so even that's a thing okay and here we have semester 6 here under the dsc courses you have numerical methods for computational mathematics you have information security you have artificial intelligence now numerical methods for computational mathematics it follows 2 plus 2 lecture plus practical credit scheme the other two follow 3 plus 1 lecture plus tutorial credit scheme okay now under the generic electives for management minor or for the management stream because see basic thing is if you get 28 credits in total from a particular stream you get a minor and you can switch any in between okay that's your wish totally so if you choose from the management stream in this semester you get e business organization and strategy from electronics you have control systems and from computational biology you have genomics and proteomics you can choose one of them and uh for this one for the dses you have again some of the things would be repeated from semester 4 mathematical modeling and simulation computational fluid dynamics technology based solutions of societal issues medical imaging techniques computational analysis of omics data now what is omics omics is used to describe a set of fields which fall under biology or computational biology such as genomics proteomics then 
metallonomics meta metabolization metallobonomics there is something like this then we also have some other things i also open the page i'll read them to you we have metabolonomic what is this metallobomics okay i was pronouncing it wrong we have metagenomics we have phenomics we have transcripto transcriptomics okay now genomics computational biology relating to genes proteomics computational biology relating to proteins metallobonomics computational biology when we are focusing on uh, metabolization in our body then metagenomics it is like genomics but what's written here genetic material recovered directly from the environmental or clinical samples by a method called sequencing okay then we have phenomics now we have we know about genotype and phenotype right genotype is what happens at the genetic level phenotype is what is expressed as a as a result of what happens at the genomic level so phenomic is a study of that basically phenotypes and what is transcription translation these are all about dna and rna so add computational elements to that this is what we get all interdisciplinary subjects which we have here and then we have virtual reality we have complex systems and we have research and methodology eight options we can choose one of them and either you go for scc or you go for an iapc so i have covered the syllabi for semesters 4 5 and 6 at cic for the btech information technology and mathematical innovations and uh, yeah this video would have been interesting to you if you are actually keen about knowing what you're going to study once you come here and also for my friends like i shared this thing with them and they they are like yeah this fun this course looks very fun you know fun to study and explore so that's it for this video god bless you all and since the exam season is almost over i should rather say best of luck for the counseling season although we still have some exams going on like upcoming cvt will continue the presidency university's exam it will be ahead all the registrations are closed but poop date is ahead of us then icer aptitude test it is also there upcoming so yeah best of luck for the counseling season specifically and for the exam season for those who are going to appear so yeah take care bye